We will be needing one and a half yard of fabric for this top. Place it on the fold and bend it like a triangle as shown. Next, we are going to determine the length of the top. The length of the top is 24 and I have 25 inches on the fabric. Next, you will find your bust measurement divided by 4 around the top area. Add one inch seam allowance to that and mark a line across. That's the folded side. Go up from the chest line by 4 inches. This would create your strap to strap line. Next, you place your strap to strap measurement. Here is 10 inches. Divide it by 2 and you place the point there. With the help of your French curve, make a curve to your chest line and that gives you your armhole. Next, you are going to come down from your 4 inches line by 2 inches to create your neck curve. Then you curve the neck line area. Now you are going to mark your top length all around different points. Then you connect your points. You determine your strap length. Here it is 5.5 inches. So just take that 5.5 inches above the strap to strap line. And when you're good, you cut. Notice how I cut the strap area where the strap will be inserted. I cut it with about half inch dash there. Then you keep cutting. So that's one open side on the side seam and one closed side. You can decide to just sew it down. It's 0.5 inches if you don't want to cut through. So you bias your neckline and your armhole. How the strap went in from the armhole by half an inch. The strap width is 1.5 inches wide. Fold it into each other by half an inch and top stitch. So this is 11 inches length. Place the strap like so, half inch into the armhole and sew your bias around the neckline. Notch around the curve then you bend your bias down and the top stitch next we will bias the armhole take your bias 0 0.25 inches above the neckline and bend it backwards to create a neat finish then you sew around the armhole when you are done sewing around one armhole repeat the same process on the other armhole now we would bend the remaining allowances of the bias backwards by half and half again so ensure everywhere is well aligned and try sewing very close to the end point of the bias go ahead to weave the hem of the top and fold it down by 0 0.25 inches now we'll close the side seams notice that the good side is on the good side sew by 0 0.25 and you turn it to the good side and you sew by 0 0.25 again ensure your seam allowance is not showing on the good side and we are done with this top please like share and subscribe thank you